It's the very beginning of flu season, and so far this practice has only seen one or two confirmed cases of the flu over the last week. But Dr. Robert Itis says they're expecting it to peak around Christmas, and they're expecting it to hit hard. It starts later and extends longer. Um, it used to be over by November or December, and now it extends uh, into May. A good way to understand how our flu season will look here in the United States is by looking at how the winter season was in the Southern Hemisphere. Take Australia. Well, Australia has had a severe flu season from all of the indicators that they measure there. And the influenza virus that predominated in, in Australia is the H3N2 virus. In the United States, it typically results in more hospitalizations in the elderly, uh, more severe disease in young children. The H3N2 has already been found in the United States. CDC officials say the vaccine may not be as effective fighting that strain. But they say it is still critical to get a flu shot. Even when vaccine effectiveness is low against one influenza virus, there are three or four influenza viruses that are in the vaccine. Dr. Ida says the flu shot lasts for the entire year, so it's best to get when it first comes out, usually in August. For those of us who still need to get the shot, it's not too late because you develop immunity in about a week. Not only it protects you, but it protects someone who you might uh, be in contact with who is more frail and may not be able to tolerate getting the flu. Because the flu can turn to pneumonia and is that one of the dangers? Pneumonia is, is one of the uh, most serious uh, sequelae or consequences of the flu and people die from the flu. You're highly contagious for portions of the flu, so how do you know if you've got it? High fever, body aches, severe cough, and headaches are all signs. I don't know if you have the same thing, but it felt like it lasted a long time. I felt like I was sick for so many weeks. Yes, yep. Well, you know, I got the flu the first time when I was 35. So I never had it before. Um, and I actually never heard of anyone getting the flu or as many people getting the flu as they have in the last couple of years. We'll end this story with a common misconception. Did you know you can't get the flu from the flu shot? The flu shot is a killed vaccine. It doesn't have any live components. It's not infectious. Uh, the most common side effects from uh, the flu shot are some soreness in your arm at the site of the injection. I'm told it's just a coincidence. In Cranford, Leia Mishkin, NJTV News.